the history of collecting human remains by Leeds Museums goes right back nearly 200 years now. The collection was established by the Leeds Philosophical and Literary Society and from the very earliest days of the society they started collecting human remains. Our Leeds mummy, Nessie Amun, was collected in 1823 and over the following years other Egyptian mummies of both people and animals were collected. But unfortunately when the museum was hit by a bomb during the Second World War, all the other mummies were destroyed in the bomb and only Nessie Amun remains today for people to see. As well as Egyptian mummies, um, human skeletons were collected over the years and also many other items that we would consider to be human remains. Actually, human remains in terms of the museum includes not just skeletons and mummies, but any objects made out of any part of a, of a once living human being. For example, we have a trumpet from Tibet made out of a human femur or thigh bone. And we also have small bits of jewellery from the Victorian period which contain locks of human hair which were worn by people in mourning. We still collect human remains today if we feel it's appropriate. For instance, if there is an excavation which has been carried out within Leeds Metropolitan District and there have been human remains excavated, often the whole archive will come to Leeds Museums. And that's how the Wattle Sykes skeletons and the Dalton Parlour skeletons came into the museum. But nowadays, often depending on the specific license for the excavation, often the skeletons will actually be reburied now. So in terms of some of our city centre sites, like Victoria Gate, the skeletons were excavated and have been analysed, but then they will actually be reburied and they won't come to the museum at all. Obviously, having a collection of human remains in the museum, there are a number of ethical considerations to take into account, and these can be quite complex. But what we do do is we treat our human remains collection with, us, you know, with a great deal of respect. We acknowledge that they're not museum objects like other objects. They are the remains of once living people, and so we try to treat them with sensitivity and display them in a way that it's in context and it's educational. I think human remains are incredibly important because each skeleton or mummy has a very, very unique and personal story to tell. When visitors come to our sites and actually see human remains on display, they're actually making a connection with another human being. So that person may have been from another time period, they may have been from another place, but automatically visitors have something in common with the human remains on display because they have that shared human experience. And in terms of engaging with museum displays and what is instantly relatable and relevant to people, I can't think of anything that's more relevant than that.